Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a chicken water out of a five gallon bucket and a feed pan. You can get these feed pans at Rule King or Track Supply or any feed store for the most part. I like these because they're rubber and uh, they pretty much stand up to the test. They, uh, they don't break and they just last forever. You can get these for about ten bucks usually, somewhere around there. Uh, five gallon buckets, you can get anywhere from two to five bucks each, you know, at uh, any, any, any store for the most part that sells buckets. You're gonna need a lid as well. Now, just any lid will do. This one has a seal in it. You don't need the seal, but you just need a lid to put on top. Otherwise, the water will just keep coming out. Now, like I said, these are five bucks or so. Lids are a couple dollars. Uh, I went to a restaurant. I asked them if they had any buckets that they, they were throwing away, and uh, sure enough, they were. So, got a bunch of buckets for free, just asking for them. Uh, so, recommend stopping out at the, one of your local restaurants and just uh, inquiring about that. You never know. So the only thing you're gonna need is a, a drill bit set or some kind of drill. Uh, you're gonna want a drill and a drill bit. You, you don't need a spade bit, but I like using spade bits. They're just easier and I have a bunch of them already right here. You can use a regular drill or a hole saw if you like. Now I'm using a half inch. The smaller the hole, the slower the water will come out. And you want it to come out slow because when you're filling this, if you don't have an auto filler on it, then you have to take the lid off. If the lid's off while you're filling it, it's gonna come out and it's gonna keep coming out until you put the lid back on. So you're gonna to want to, the smaller the hole, the slower the flow. Now you're gonna to wanna to determine your water level. Now the, the younger the chicks, the higher the water level should be because you, they're, they're not gonna be able to, to reach all the way down in here to the bottom. So if you put your hole way down here, the water level will be down here, right? Real low. If you put your hole up here, it'll be more closer to the lip. Now we don't want it to be higher than the lip because then it'll just overflow over it. So we're just gonna put our marker at an angle here and just kinda make a line right, like a little dot right there. And all we're gonna do is just drill a hole. Now all you need is one hole. You don't need multiple holes, just one. little hole like that. So now we're gonna fill this up and test it out before we bring it out to the chickens. Wanna make sure it works first, right? So I'm generally gonna be filling them this way with a five gallon bucket already. Cause I, where I'm putting these at, I usually don't have hoses. So you can use a hose to fill it. Just make sure your hose is fast enough to fill it. So we're just gonna pour it on in here. You can see it's hard to come out, it's kind of spewing out a little bit. And then put your lid on. And you're going to see how that comes out to a lot slower. A little drip almost. That's why I say you want to put that lid on as fast as you can. Now you can always plug it with your finger while you're filling it up. That works too. You know, just something like this and then have a hose or have somebody else with a bucket or make a plug out of some kind of plastic or rubber or something like that. And then we'll just watch this thing fill up. There you have it, it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring this out to the chickens and uh, see how they like it. If you want to speed it up, what you can do too is just add some water in here and it'll uh, it'll already be full because you filled it up yourself or you can just sit here and wait.
Well, you see how eff effective it is, and uh, they really like it. It's nice, clean water. It's easy to fill and uh, easy to make and also cheap. That's what I like about it. Nice to save a couple bucks on the farm here and there if you can. Well, hey, if you guys like watching these type of videos, you know, uh, subscribe for more and uh, leave a comment or uh, hit that like button if you learned something. I'd like to hear from you guys if you guys end up making one. See how, uh, if, if you have any modifications to it or anything like that. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.